Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these really quick and easy coasters. For my coasters I used a 5mm crochet hook and two strands of yarn for each coaster. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more crochet okay, videos. Okay, so for my coaster I'm going to be using two pieces of yarn, so two balls of yarn. And this will make my coaster a lot thicker like this and that is what I want. But you can use one ball of yarn if you would like, but I'm going to be using okay, so two. The first thing that we want to do for our coaster is we want to make a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, you want to take your yarn and take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like this. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and then using your crochet hook pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through like that. Then take your finger out and there you have a magic circle and we are ready to move on to round one of okay, our coaster. So we are coaster. now on to round one of our coaster and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to chain three. So chain one and then two and then three. And this chain three counts as a stitch. This counts as a double crochet. So once you have your chain three, we are now going to work one double crochet into the magic circle. So you want to work a double crochet. So yarn over and go into the stitch. Then yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. And that is one double crochet. So once you have done that, you now want to chain four. So chain one and two and three and four, like that. So what we are now going to do is we're going to work two double crochets together. So we're going to work two double crochets together. And what two double crochets together is, is it is two stitches turned into one. So you are going to work two double crochets, but finish them both off at the same time, working them together. You want to yarn over and go into the magic circle and pull up a loop as you would with a normal double crochet. And then yarn over and pull through two loops as you would with a normal double crochet. But you do not want to complete this double crochet. Normally you would yarn over and pull through these two loops to complete the double crochet. And you don't want to do that. Instead you want to move on to the next one, so the next double crochet. So yarn over and go back into the magic circle and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. You should now have three loops on your hook, so this should be two incomplete double crochets and you want to yarn over and pull through all three and this will complete both of your double crochets and complete your two double crochets together like that and what you now want to do is you want to chain four so chain one and two and three and four so there you have done two double crochets together and chained four and you want to repeat this three more times. So you want to do three more sets of two double crochets together and then chain four. So repeat that three more times. Okay. So I'm going to repeat it again. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the magic circle, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then I'm going to move on to my next double crochet. So yarn over and go into the stitch pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, completing both double crochets together. And now I've completed two double crochets together. So now you want to chain four. And I have repeated it again. I now have another set of two double crochets together and chain four. And you want to do this two more times. So you want to have four sets of two double crochets together, 
then chain four. So repeat this two more times. So once you have done that, this is what you should have, like this. And we are now going to finish off round one by closing up our magic circle. So to do that, you want to take your straggler end or your tail here, and you just simply want to pull this. So pull this nice and tight, and this will close up your magic circle, like that. And then finally, to finish round one, you want to work a slip stitch into the very first double crochet that we did. So if you remember, right at the beginning, we worked a chain three and then we did a double crochet. And this actually counts as two double crochets together, but it's a bit different because of the chain three. So we're going to go into this first double crochet here. So here is the chain three and here is the double crochet. And you want to go into the top of here and work a slip stitch. So to do a slip stitch, you simply pull the yarn through and then through again, like that. And once you have done that, you have completed round one and we are now ready to move on to round two of our coaster and this will be the final round of our coaster. So we are now on to round two of our coaster and this is the final round. That just shows how quick and easy this pattern is. So we're going to start off round two by chaining one. And this does not count as anything. This doesn't count as a stitch. It's just there to get us where so we want to be. So for round two, we're going to be working into these chain spaces here. So we're going to be working into each of these chain spaces. And into each chain space, we're going to do the exact same set of stitches. So the stitches that we work into this first chain space, we will work the same stitches into the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the first chain space and work a single crochet. So to do a single crochet, you want to insert your hook through the chain space, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and that is one single crochet and we now want to chain six so chain one and two and three and four and five and six so we've worked a single crochet and then chain six and what we're now going to do is we're going to work something called a double treble crochet or a double triple crochet and this is a very big stitch a very long stitch so what you do is you want to yarn over your hook three times so wrap the yarn around your hook once and then twice and then a third time you then want to insert your hook in through the chain space and yarn over and pull up a loop then you want to yarn over and pull through two loops then yarn over and pull through two more loops and yarn over and pull through two more loops and then yarn over and pull through two more loops and there you have a double treble crochet or a double triple crochet so what you now want to do is you want to work a treble crochet so to do that you yarn over your hook twice so yarn over twice insert your hook through the stitch pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. And there you have a treble crochet and you now want to work a double crochet. So yarn over and go into this loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more. So these stitches gradually get smaller, like this. And we are now going to work our way back up. And if you look at the petals of our coaster, you can see they get smaller and then they go back up. So we have done a single crochet, chain six, then we've done a double treble crochet, a treble crochet and a double crochet. And we are now going to start working our way back up. 
So we're going to go in with a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook through the space and work a treble crochet. And now we're going to work another double treble crochet. So yarn over three times, insert your hook through the space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, two more, two more, and finally two more, like that. Once you have done that, we're now going to chain six. So chain one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to finish off this petal by going into the same space and working a single crochet. So pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. So once you have done that, that is that petal done, and that is all worked into the same chain space, like that. And what we just did, we are going to work into each and every chain space around. So we should have worked that five times in total, into this space, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we worked single crochet, chain six, then a double treble crochet, then a treble crochet, then a double crochet, then back up. We worked a treble crochet, a double treble crochet, and then we chained six and worked another single crochet. And that was all into the same chain space to work a petal. So now we're going to move on to the next chain space and we're going to work another petal and we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go straight into the space and work a single crochet then we are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to work a double treble crochet. So yarn over three times and work a double treble crochet. Then work a treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Then work a double crochet, so yarn over once. And now begin working back up. You want to work a treble crochet, so yarn over twice. And then a double treble crochet, so yarn over three times. Like that. And then lastly, you want to chain six. So chain six and then work a single crochet into the exact same space. Like that. So that was single crochet, chain six, double treble crochet, treble crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, double treble crochet, chain six and a single crochet. And you can see here that this is creating our petals. And you want to continue working this all the way around all of those stitches into each chain space and you should have repeated that five times in total. Okay, so I've just got done working that all the way around and I have completed all five of my petals and your work should look a little bit funny like this and I will show you how to fix that in a second. But we are going to finish off by working a final slip stitch into this first chain space that we started working into. So you want to go into the very first chain space that we worked in and work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and through. And you can now fasten off. So pull your yarn out and cut your yarn and pull it through. And then you can pull tight. And there you have completed your coaster. And I will show you how to fix all of this kind of folded bits So here. to fix your folded bits like this, you just want to take an iron and just very, very lightly iron your um, coaster. If you are using a wool or a yarn that can't be ironed, then you can put a old towel over the top or you can wet block your coaster. Okay, and once you have done that and you have ironed your coaster, you can weave all of your ends in and you have completed it like that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it easy to follow. 
please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and thanks again for watching. Bye!